VA. House Speaker thanks UVA President for showing moral clarity in response to Hamas attacks and Mark Warner, DVA, head of the Senate Intelligence Committee, decries the Hamas attacks on Israel as horrific beyond words. Virginia House Speaker Todd Gilbert, R. Shenandoah, on Wednesday expressed gratitude after University of Virginia President Jim Ryan released a statement in which he described Hamas attacks on Israel as atrocities. A number of Virginia politicians, including Gilbert, had urged Ryan to speak out on Tuesday after a UVA student group described the attacks as an unprecedented feat for the 21st century, and supported the, the right of colonized people everywhere to resist the occupation of their land by whatever means they deem necessary. People are also reading. Retaliation lawsuit filed by EEOC gives roadmap for employers on how not to respond to complaints Virginia Trooper alleged retaliation by top commanders for speaking out on pay Susanna Gibson raised nearly $600,000 before news of sexual videos carry town burgers and fries lakeside purchased by ETH 66 owner Virginia Attorney General urges NCAA to make JMU Bowl eligible this season VCU Cross Country's rising star Midlothian native Lauren Tunnel, discovered by local community Richmond International Airport working on non-stop flights. To Seattle, thanks to $1 million grant UVA professor and family lauded for saving student from abduction vote for the Times Dispatch High School Football Player of the Week commentary. A Democratic candidate performed sex online. How is that not disqualifying? High School Football Rankings, Thomas Dale, Benedictine Big Winners, Huguenot enters top 10 Richmond Fire Battalion Chief dies toast, Chipotle. Raising Kane's sign-on as tenants at Scott's walk across from the Diamond VSU is not underfunded, Youngkin administration says editorial. Not so sure about systemic racism? Head down to Ettrick. There can be no justification for, and we must condemn, the actions of Hamas and the horrific violence that has taken place against civilians. Including children, Ryan said in the statement, released Wednesday morning. Ryan added that the university has a long-standing tradition of not just allowing free speech, but promoting civil discourse, even when we strongly disagree. He did not explicitly reference the students for justice in Palestine at UVA, the organization that made the initial remarks. In a post on X, the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, Gilbert thanked Ryan for the moral clarity he demonstrated. In his statement, on Wednesday afternoon, Governor Glenn Youngkin is to meet this afternoon with members of the Jewish community in Virginia Beach. Listen now and subscribe. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, RSS Feed, Omni Studio Youngkin on Tuesday night condemned what he called the barbaric and horrific terrorist acts of Hamas and urged the U.S to speed assistance to its ally Israel. The United States only has one decision here, which is how much support can we get to Israel as fast as we can, Youngkin said in an interview with Sean Hannity on Fox News. They are our brothers. We will stand with them and there can be no, no hesitancy in committing everything they need to defend themselves. Youngkin noted that on Monday he met with Jewish leaders in northern Virginia's Loudoun County. Not only were they grief-stricken, like all of us, but angry and they were filled with fear, as well. This is what terrorists do. This is what Hamas is, a terrorist group, and they must be met with force. Efforts to speed aid to Israel might be complicated by the holdup in U.S. House Republicans' effort to pick a new Speaker of the House following the ouster of Kevin McCarthy, R. Califf. Republicans on Wednesday chose Rep. Steve Scalise, R. La, as their nominee. This morning's top headlines. Israel-Hamas war. ACT scores drop. Mary Lou Redden. Orioles swept Palestinians scramble as Israel bombards Gaza City. ACT scores drop. Mary Lou Redden in ICU. Orioles swept in MLB playoffs. And more top news this morning. Time equals. 400 Ms. Greater than nation and world Israeli strikes demolish entire Gaza neighborhoods as sealed off territory faces imminent blackout by Joseph Kraus and WAFAASHURAFA. Associated Press updated eight hours ago Palestinians in the sealed off Gaza Strip are scrambling to find safety as Israeli strikes demolish entire neighborhoods, 
hospitals run low on supplies and a power blackout is expected within hours. That further deepened the misery of a war sparked by a deadly mass incursion of Hamas militants. Airstrikes smashed entire city blocks to rubble in the tiny coastal enclave and left unknown numbers of bodies beneath mounds of debris. The bombardment raged on even though militants dragged an estimated 150 people into Gaza during weekend fighting. Israel has vowed unprecedented retaliation against the Hamas militant group ruling Gaza after its fighters stormed through the border fence Saturday and gunned down hundreds of Israelis. Nation and World APACT test scores for U.S. students drop to new 30-year low by CHEYANNE Mumphrey, AP Education. Writer updated eight hours ago high school students' scores on the ACT college admissions test have dropped to their lowest in more than three decades, showing a lack of student preparedness for college-level coursework, according to the nonprofit organization that administers the test. Scores have been falling for six consecutive years, but the trend accelerated during the COVID-19 pandemic. Students in the class of 2023 whose scores were reported Wednesday were in their first year of high school when the virus reached the U.S. The average ACT composite score for U.S. students was 19.5 out of 36. Last year, the average score was 19.8. Nation and world 6.3 magnitude earthquake shakes. Part of western Afghanistan where an earlier quake killed over 2,000 Ibrahim Naruzi and Rahim Faiz Associated Press updated 8 hours AGO Another strong earthquake has shaken part of western Afghanistan where a quake on Saturday killed more than 2,000 people. The 6.3 magnitude earthquake on Wednesday morning was about 28 kilometers, or 17 miles, outside Herat, the capital of Herat province. The epicenter of Saturday's quake was about 25 miles northwest of the city, and several aftershocks have been strong. Taliban officials said more than 2,000 had died across Herat after the earlier quakes. The aid group Doctors Without Borders said the Herat Regional Hospital received 117 injured from Wednesday's Tembler. A ministry spokesman in Kabul said the most recent quake triggered a landslide in the area has blocked a highway. Nation and World AP second biggest U.S. lottery prize ever is up for grabs in Powerball drawing by Jim Salter. Associated Press updated one-hour AGO after 35 straight drawings without a big winner. Powerball players are lining up for a shot at a near-record jackpot worth an estimated $1.73 billion. If winning numbers are drawn on Wednesday, it would be the second largest of any lottery prize ever topped only by the $2.04 billion Powerball won by a player in California last November. The previous number two was a $1.586 billion Powerball with three winners in California, Florida and Tennessee in 2016. Powerball's terrible odds of 1 in 292.2 million are designed to generate big jackpots, with prizes becoming ever larger as they repeatedly roll over when no one wins. The jackpot has grown so large because there have been 35 consecutive drawings without a big winner. Nation and World AP Fraud Trial Trump acknowledged penthouse size at 11,000 square feet, not 30,000 he later claimed by Michael R. Sisek and Jennifer Peltz. Associated Press updated 8 hours AGO evidence shown at former President Donald Trump's New York civil business fraud trial shows that he signed a 1994 document that gave the true size of the New York penthouse that was listed later as far larger on his financial statements. The evidence appeared in an email attachment shown during testimony Tuesday from Alan Weisselberg, the former finance chief of Trump's company. James's lawsuit alleges that Weisselberg engineered Trump's financial statements to meet his demands that they show increases in his net worth and signed off on lofty valuations for assets despite appraisals to the contrary. Trump denies any wrongdoing. Government politics AP Republicans nominate Steve Scalise to be House Speaker but struggle to unite quickly and elect him by Lisa Mascaro and Kevin Frecking. Associated Press updated two minutes ago Republicans have nominated Rep. Steve Scalise to be the next House Speaker. Now they must try to unite their deeply divided majority to elect the conservative in a floor vote after ousting Rep. Kevin McCarthy from the job. In private balloting at the Capitol on Wednesday, 
House Republicans narrowly pushed aside Ohio Representative Jim Jordan, the Judiciary Committee chairman, in favor of Scalise, the current majority leader from Louisiana. A floor vote of the whole House could come as soon, but tensions are still running high among Republicans who've brought the House to a standstill with bitter infighting. And it's uncertain whether Jordan, who was backed by Donald Trump, will throw his support to Scalise. Nation and World AP Representative Santos faces new charges he stole donor IDs, made unauthorized charges to their credit cards by Jake Offenhartz. Associated Press updated two hours AGOA new indictment charges U.S. Representative George Santos with stealing the identities of donors to his campaign and then using their credit cards to ring up tens of thousands of dollars in unauthorized charges. Prosecutors say some of that stolen money ended up in his own bank account. The 23-count indictment filed Tuesday replaces one filed earlier against the New York Republican charging him with embezzling money from his campaign and lying to Congress about his wealth, among other offenses. Santos told reporters at the U.S. Capitol he had no comment on the superseding indictment, Nation and World AP prosecutors. Say Elijah McLean was just walking home as jury urged to convict officers in his death by Colleen Slevin and Matthew Brown. Associated Press updated eight hours AGO prosecutors seeking a conviction of two Colorado police officers in the 2019 death of Elijah McLean have implored a jury during closing arguments to remember that he was just trying to walk home on the night of the fatal encounter. McLean was put in a neck hold and then pinned down by officers before paramedics injected him with a powerful sedative. Witnesses testified that an overdose of the sedative killed McLean. But prosecutors say his restraint by officers triggered a series of health problems that made it hard for McLean to breathe and more vulnerable to a fatal overdose. Defense attorneys countered Tuesday that the officers had no choice but to subdue McLean after he resisted them. Business AP Walgreens pharmacy staffers stage walkouts over work conditions by Maddie Burakoff. AP Science writer updated 8 hours AGO Walgreens has named a new CEO as Pharmacy staff walked off the job this week over concerns that working conditions are putting employees and patients at risk. Tim Wentworth, who formerly headed Express Scripts, a pharmacy benefit manager, was named CEO as of October 23. Pharmacists say their teams are short-staffed and overworked, leading to issues with patient safety and staff well-being. The number of stores impacted by the walkouts is unclear. An organizer estimated that more than 300 locations have been impacted, while a Walgreens spokesman said no more than a dozen pharmacies saw disruptions. Employees say their workload doesn't match staffing levels. They also want the company to provide more training for new hires. Nation and World AP Olympic Gymnastics Champion Mary Lou Redden is in intensive care with pneumonia by the Associated Press updated 7 hours AGO Olympic Gymnastics Champion Mary Lou Redden has pneumonia and is in intensive care in a Texas hospital. Redden's daughter, McKenna Kelly, shared Redden's condition in an Instagram post. Kelly said the 55-year-old Redden, who became the first American woman to win the Olympic all-around title, is fighting for her life and not able to breathe on her own. Kelly started a fundraising campaign on Redden's behalf for medical expenses. Kelly wrote that Redden does not currently have medical insurance. Professional Sports MLB Playoffs 2023. Rangers sweep into ALCS. Three games. Wednesday as Astros. D-backs look to advance Associated Press updated 8 hours AGO Austin Riley and the Atlanta Braves rallied late to even their NL Division Series with Philadelphia. Mookie Betts and the Los Angeles Dodgers are in big trouble against Arizona. Held hitless into the sixth inning, Atlanta erased a four-run deficit for an improbable 5-4 victory over the Phillies on two-run homers by Travis Darno and Riley and a game-ending double play for the ages Monday night. Just like that, the best-of-five series is tied up going into Game 3 on Wednesday at Philadelphia. In Los Angeles, Lords Gurriel Jr. and the surprising Diamondbacks beat the Dodgers 4-2 behind Zach Gallen for a 2-0 lead in their NLDS. Arizona goes for a stunning sweep Wednesday in Phoenix. But first, both AL Division series resume Tuesday. Andrew Kane, 804, 
649-6645 a cane at timesdispatch.com at Andrew Kane RTD on Twitter tags politics. Sociology Media and Communication Armed Forces Advertising Islam Security and Public Safety Law Internet University Andrew Kane Politics Editor Author Twitter Author Email Follow Andrew Kane Close Get Email Notifications on Subject Daily Your Notification Has Been Saved There Was a Problem Saving Your Notification Description Email Notifications Are Only Sent Once a Day And Only If There Are New Matching Items Save manage followed notifications close followed notifications please log in to use this. Feature login don't have an account? Sign up today Samuel B. Parker trending reporter author email follow Samuel B. Parker close get email notifications on subject daily. Your notification has been saved. There was a problem saving your notification. Time equals 400 ms greater than description email notifications are only sent once a day and only if there are new matching items. Save manage followed notifications close followed notifications please log in to use this feature log in don't have an account? Sign up today.